Goldfinger is a 1964 film. It's the third film to have Sean Connery starring as James Bond. It's directed by Guy Hamilton. And in this movie, it starts off with James Bond in the middle of a mission, which is pretty cool. In fact, I think it's the first Bond film where you see Bond already at the beginning doing a mission. And once he's finished with that, he's on holiday vacation like he should be, right? But no, for some reason, MI6, it's like Bond is the only agent that they go to for a mission. They go to him to track this guy, Goldfinger. Now first, let me talk about Sean Connery as James Bond. I really enjoyed Sean Connery in this film. Probably the most that I've seen so far in these first three Bond movies just because he's so... He's such a character. You can tell just throughout the film how, I want to say, horny he is for ladies. He, like, his love for women almost fucks up his operation and his mission. He, he just, he can't help himself. He even tells himself, like, discipline. He's trying to get himself under control, but I swear, it's like he tries to think with his head and he thinks with something else. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. It's interesting at the beginning of the movie when he does get to know Goldfinger, he does find out about him, he immediately goes to his girlfriend who is actually a pretty hot chick, this girl Jill, but then he gets taken out and this girl gets killed. And the way she gets killed is really memorable and just her being covered in gold paint. <laughs> Now, Gert Frobe as Goldfinger, the main villain, he's a memorable villain, and I kind of liked him. I mean, he wasn't like a physical match for Bond or anything, but he's this rich guy who, at first you think his plan is to rob the world's largest bank. There's gold that's worth $50 billion. But then you find out that, no, he wants to put a bomb inside of this bank, blow up all of the U.S.'s gold, so that the gold he has can be worth 10 times more. Wow. Gentlemen! Goldfinger, I made a delivery. Where is my money? And you owe me one million bucks. And like I said, he's a memorable villain. He has memorable lines, like the scene where he has James Bond tied up and he has that laser trap that's about to kill him. Do you expect me to talk? No, oh, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. I expect you to die! I love that. That's just awesome. And he also has this Asian bodyguard who... I don't really understand this guy. It's like he's the world's strongest man. Literally, you can't hurt this guy physically. And he uses his hat to like kill people. The hat, it has some metal thing under it where it can just cut through anything. And I'm like, eh, I'm like, that's just silly. Now there comes a point in the film where the sister of the girl who got killed and covered in gold paint, her sister comes in wanting revenge on Goldfinger and she's trying to kill him. And I thought that was interesting. I'm like, wow. She gets paired with Bond, obviously, and you're thinking, all right, they're going to work together and stuff. But no, then they kill the sister off, like, pretty quickly. And I was shocked. That really surprised me. But of course, you can't kill all the Bond girls. You have this girl who's working for Goldfinger. Her name is Pussy Galore. My name is Pussy Galore. Now I know, maybe it's immature for me to find that hilarious, but I couldn't help but laugh every time Sean Connery just kept calling her Pussy. I mean, yeah, it's her name, and I'm trying to think of like, what's worse? The fact that the writers thought that was so clever that they got this name in a big movie, or the fact that if you think about it logically, her parents must have had the, the sickest sense of humor ever. But either way, her name is Pussy Galore, and Pussy's like the bad girl, you know? Like, she, she's working with Goldfinger, but of course, Bond either is just so horny and attracted to her that he wants to sleep with her, or he really does think that he can turn her around and make her good. Isn't it customary to grant the condemned man his last request? You've asked for this. And Goldfinger, I actually enjoyed this movie. I liked it a lot. I liked that there was a lot of action, a lot of fighting, car chases. And it was cool to see whenever Bond got himself in a predicament where you didn't know how he'd get out of it, it showed how smart he was that he was able to get out of it. Goldfinger, good movie. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen Goldfinger and what you think of it. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Later! Mm -hmm.